To really get a handle on Music One, you need to get your own library data imported so you can test, experiment, and evaluate the software using your own music. Music One can import a library text file that's exported from your current music scheduler or your digital automation system. We'll be happy to import the library data for you, and there's no cost to you for doing it and no obligation either. If you want to do the import yourself, this video will show you some of the basics about text files that can be imported into Music One. We have other videos showing how to set up import templates to read and import whichever kind of text file you may have. There are three kinds of text data files. Most will have a .txt extension. Some may have a .tab or a .csv extension or a .asc. You can open any one of those with WordPad, Notepad, or any text editor to take a look. The text editor I'm using here is some freeware named EditPad. Let's look at the differences between the file types. This is a library export from another music scheduler. This station was using Selector before they switched to Music One. And to get all of the song data into one consistent file, they made a three-line fixed-width report and printed it to file. A fixed-width file has the data about each song record arranged in columns, and a certain amount of space on each line is allocated for each field of data. In this file, line 1 contains the artist information. Line 2 has the file number, the title, the category, tempo, and some other data. Line 3 has the song length, ending, and intro time. Each field of data appears in exactly the same position for each record. The artist name is on line 1, and in the case of duets like this song by Robbie Williams and Nicole Kidman, the second artist is placed beginning at column 40. A tab delimited file has all the data on one line for each song. Each field of data is separated by a tab character. It looks somewhat similar to a fixed width file, but the spacing of the data fields is inconsistent. Some text editors will display some kind of character between the fields indicating where the tab spaces are, but many times you won't be able to see an indication that the tab is there. Notice here, when I use my keyboard to move the cursor across the letters, when I get to the end of a field, the cursor jumps to the beginning of the next field. When I cursor backwards, you can see the jump again. The tab space is there, and the Music One import function will recognize it and will be able to put each field of data into the proper field on the Music One song cards when the file is imported. The third type of text file is a comma delimited file. It often has a .csv extension, but it can have a .txt extension too. In this one, the fields are separated by commas, and usually they have a lot of quotation marks around some, but maybe not all, of the individual data fields. When this type of file is imported, Music One will remove the quotation marks. It's very important to have a clean and consistent text file. Before you try to import it into Music One, open the file with a text editor and take a look at it. If there are any empty lines, it'll mess up the import. If the file has a header or a footer, those will need to be deleted from the file, leaving nothing but song data. There are some more videos about how to set up the templates in Music One to import your data. Again, we're happy to help you do this, and if you have any questions at all, don't be slow to contact us.